I used to be a guy who was experiencing the world, and now I feel like the world and the universe experiencing a guy. When the curtain goes down at the end of the drama, the hero and the villain step out hand in hand, and the audience applaud both. Because they know that the hero role and the villain role are only masks. As an actor, you play characters, and then if you go deep enough into those characters, you realize that your own character is pretty thin to begin with. You know, and then you suddenly have this separation and go, well, who's Jim Carrey? Oh, he doesn't exist, actually. And at a certain point, I, I realized, hey, wait a second, you know, if it's so easy to lose Jim Carrey, who the hell is Jim Carrey? There's, there's just a, a relative manifestation of consciousness appearing, and, uh, and then somebody gave him a bunch of ideas. They gave him a name and a religion and a nationality, and he clustered those together into something that's supposed to be a personality. And it doesn't actually exist. There's, and none of that stuff, if you drill down, is real. And so you see behind the stage, too, there is the green room. Where after the play is over and before it begins, the masks are taken off. Dressing happens, doing hair happens, uh, interviewing happens, and it happens without me. Without, without the idea of a me. You know, it's, it's really, you know, the fact that we are already enlightened, we're already complete, and it's just realizing that you're complete. Once you realize you're complete, then, then this life and everything in it becomes a play of form, something to toy with and play with and make something good out of. It's so what's happening right now inside everybody is they're going, who am I? And they're depressed, you know, a lot of people because they're trying to hold up an image in the world. And that's what depression is. You know, people go like, oh, Jim's been depressed and stuff. Well, yeah, I was depressed when I was trying to uh, be the Wizard of Oz instead of the sweaty guy behind the curtain. Uh, but now I know that Oz is a character, you know? Everybody walks around and they go like, why am I depressed? Well, it's because you're trying to be something for the world, you know? And as soon as you, you know, let that go, better things happen because they're just happening. And there's been a series of kind of awakenings I've had in my life. And, uh, you know, people chalk it up to depression and all that stuff. I think that, you know, grief and sadness and all those things are, are, are the, the ticket home uh, to nothing. I think that that was a part of the process. There's been several other awakenings and, and, and yet still I, I have a lot of egoic attachments that, that, uh, that pull my attention and focus. I think, you know, the right marriage with the right character and the right guy who's going through something is, is essential. And so that behind the scene, that is to say, in reality, under the surface, you are all the actor. Marvelously skilled in playing many parts and in getting lost in the mazes of your own minds and the entanglements of your own affairs, as if this were the most urgent thing going. But behind the scenes, in the green room, you always have a very tiny sneaking suspicion that you might not be the you that you think you are. <laughs>